Hey there guys, Jacob here, and today I'm going to do something that has been requested for so long. So we're gonna finally do it. We're gonna actually finally do it. So today I am going to show you how to stream on your EasyCap 284. Now uh, I have a confession, all right? I have a confession to make. In the move that Jacob and I did, we misplaced our EasyCap 284. So I don't actually have an EasyCap 284 to show you how to do it, but I do have the information so I can like give you a walkthrough of how to do it. And I also have screenshots that EasyCap sent me that you will also have access to to be able to do this. So do not fret and do not click away off this video because I'm gonna show you, I'm still gonna show you. I'm just not gonna show you. Make sense? Good. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need to do is download the drivers. Uh, now I do have a link for this down in the description. There's going to be the PDF that I'm reading off of right now with all the information of how to do this on there as well as the driver downloads, two different driver downloads. There's also links there to download OBS um, if you wanna use those. If not, I also included some OBS download links in the description. So the first thing you need to do here is plug in your 284 with the USB into your computer. Um, now they recommend that you have an i5 processor or, or faster or better um, AMD wise, just have a quad core um, or better. And then also having four gigs of RAM, I would probably recommend eight because if you're working off of four gigs of RAM, what are you even doing on that computer? I mean like, Facebook? All right, so once you plug in your EasyCap into the computer, you're gonna have to go to Device Manager. You'll scroll down in Device Manager and you'll see a, a tab that says Other Device. And as long as you have something there that says Grabber Device. Now you're just going to double click on that and select Driver Install. Uh, and from there, a little wizard thing's gonna pop up and be like, I'm the wizard, I'm gonna help you shoot up your stuff and I'm gonna do other things for you. And I sound like I'm from the deep wood in the south. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about, about that. All right, so once you wrap up with the installation wizard, then you're going to go back to device managers and see that your device is now out of other devices and has been moved into the sound video and game controller. Uh, thing you should see the option there uh, it'll you know be the exact same name it was before uh, you know some amount of numbers grab or device HD um, so yeah that's basically it from there you just have to download OBS um, which I won't show you in this video because there's a ton of videos already out there showing you how to download OBS and how to set up streaming for OBS so that is gonna be it for today's video I hope this was helpful um, I know a ton of you suggested it and have been requesting this for a very long time. Also guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video, or dislike it. You know, if you wanna dislike it, go ahead and dislike it. The only thing we ask is if you do dislike it, please leave a comment below stating why you dislike the video and what we could do to improve from this point on. Thank you guys for watching and have an awesome day. All right, cool, I think this was pretty good. I think this was a pretty good thing that I did just now. Don't know for sure though. I'll never know. I'll never know.